Hello everyone! I thought you might like another story time. I am going to sign my favourite story and it is called The Tiger Who Came to Tea. I wonder if you could sign with me. Do you think you can? Some of the signs I think you could do are Tiger. Could you sign Tiger? Very good. Tea. Hold your teacup and tip it up. Tea. Can you sign Tea? Fantastic! Sophie, make a s with your fingers. Sophie, can you sign Sophie? Very good. Another sign. Three fingers on your hand. Tap it two times. Mummy. Can you sign Mummy? Brilliant. Last sign you need at the end of the story. Two fingers on both hands together. Tap twice. Daddy, Daddy, can you sign Daddy? Very good. Now I am going to sign the story. I hope you enjoy it. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly they heard a knock on the door. Who could that be? It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. It can't be the grocer boy because it's not the day he comes. It can't be daddy because he's got his key. Let's open the door and see. Sophie opened the door and there was a big furry stripy tiger. Excuse me, he said. I am very hungry. Do you think I could have tea? With you? Sophie's mummy said, Of course, come in. So the tiger sat at the table. Sophie's mummy said, Would you like a sandwich? But the tiger did not take just one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big gulp. But he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the bun. But the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all 
silver buns on the dish. Then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake. There was nothing left to eat on the table. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? The tiger drank all of the milk in the jug and all of the tea in the teapot. Then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all of the supper cooking in the saucepans. He ate all of the food in the fridge. He ate all of the packets and tins in the cupboard. He drank all of the milk, all of the orange juice all of daddy's beer and even all of the water in the taps. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I better go now. Goodbye. And off he went. But Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for Daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all of the water from the taps. Just then, Sophie's Daddy came home. Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all of the food and drank all of the drink. Sophie's daddy said, I know what to do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to the cafe. So they went out in the dark. All of the street lamps were turned on and the cars had their lights on. As they walked, they had a lovely supper of sausages, chips and ice cream. The next morning Sophie and her mummy went shopping. They bought lots of things to eat. They also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come to tea again. But he never did. Did you enjoy that story? I hope so. I enjoy telling that story. Remember to practice your signing. Maybe you could make something for in case the tiger comes to tea at your house. What about some tiger biscuits? Those would be good. Or maybe some tiger buns. <laughs> Just make sure that your tiger doesn't eat everything in your house. But I will see you very soon. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay at home. Bye.